this print's been running about 10 hours now and I was trying to get a beautiful time lapse of it. I've gone in and looked at a preview of it and I think I screwed up my camera settings. That's a bummer. All right, so maybe it's not really that bad. I got an amazing vase out of the project. I'll post the link to the STO file below if you'd like to print one. And failure's a learning experience, and I learned a lot doing this time lapse. First of all, why don't we take a look at it and see what went wrong? I have three main issues with it. Number one, let's get the elephant out of the room. The camera placement, well, was off. It cuts the shot off, it, it just doesn't look good. Number two, the color is completely off from real life. And number three, I still have flickering in part of the video, which I thought I had knocked out already. Camera placement is critical to a good time lapse. Currently, I'm using this mount that I found on Thingiverse. I like it because it has three different adjustment points, so you can really get that camera where you want it. I also like that it attaches to the motor cover so that the camera actually raises up during the shot. It gives a nice cinematic effect. Before I started on a 20-hour vase project, I did a calibration cat. I was adjusting where the camera sat. I was also messing with the color and the contrast and all of those settings, trying to get it dialed in for the vase. As far as camera placement goes, I feel like I got it pretty good left to right, but obviously I missed the mark top to bottom. Lesson here, if I had set the camera farther back for a wider shot, the print would have been saved. And if I wanted it tighter in, I could have done that in my video editor after the fact. So the time lapse itself, the color doesn't look awful, but when you compare it to real life, it didn't come out right. Here's a shot of my iPhone 8, my iPhone 10, and my old Nikon DSLR. Now, the Nikon shot is most accurate to real life, and that's really what I'd like to get out of the uh, time lapse. However, I realize I'm working with a $23 Pi cam, and it's not really fair to compare that to a prosumer DSLR. Ultimately, I hope to use the DSLR, but for the moment, I need to stick with the Pi cam for, well, financial reasons. So, taking a look in Octolapse, I think first of all, I need to mess with my exposure. I don't think I had it quite right. And we also need to adjust uh, some of these other settings up higher, like the contrast, etc. I'd like to get it to look more like this photo, um, and I'm not real sure how to get there other than just keep adjusting settings. If you've got a suggestion, please leave it in the comments below. Now, I thought I had the flickering knocked out, but as you can see, no, I didn't. I've got three theories as to why the flickering is there. Number one is my lighting, which is frankly low budget. I'm using this LED utility light out of my garage. Now it has three settings. On the high setting, I don't really notice the flickering, but if you go to the medium setting, you'll see a little bit show up. And then on the low setting, you get even more. So it is possible the high setting is introducing some flicker. While editing this video, I noticed in this clip on my iPhone 8, there is a little bit of flicker while that LED light is on high. So I suspect that that plays a larger role than I initially thought. The other thing, I went and reviewed my settings in Octolapse, and while I set a manual exposure, I had left ISO and white balance on automatic. And it is possible that that introduced some flicker as well. So we'll adjust that for the next time lapse. My third theory, external lighting. Now the family knows not to mess with the lighting while I'm doing a time lapse, but it is possible little hands flipped a switch and introduced external light into the shot. So those are my three theories as to why the flickering is there, and we'll attack all three for the next one. So those are the three issues that I see with this time lapse. If you see something else, please leave a comment below. Now, some of you may be asking, Brian, why are you using the Pi Cam instead of the DSLR if you've got it? It's a great question. Yes, I have the camera, but I still need a tripod and cabling so I can do that setup. Uh, and funds for hobbies can be limited, right? So we work with what we've got. Let's take a look at that time lapse one more time.
If you like this video, please leave a comment below, like the video, and maybe subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.